my previous video editing software kind of crapped out on me, so I'm stuck with Windows Movie Maker for now. Enjoy this one or two still images. However many I decide to put in. Anyway, the albino hunter, you guys haven't heard all that much recently. It's been over a year since I made the last update video. So some of you may be wondering, what happened? Are you still working on the game? The answer is yes. Yes, I am. Just a lot of complications have come up and I don't want these update videos to be, hey guys, guess what? Another terrible thing happened. Yeah, that's not very positive. So what basically halted my progress was when I updated my game, uh, like the program I made my game on, it caused this one like visual glitch that I didn't have the prowess to fix because I suck at programming. And so that glitch was a pain in my rear and killed my motivation for at least half a year. I hired someone to uh, fix it, but um, they didn't really get it fixed. And after like a while of just waiting for this guy to actually fix the bug, I showed it to another programmer person. He fixed the bug like within that day and said he only had to adjust one line of code. So I don't want to speak ill of the previous guy, but that's a bit. Anyway, new programmer. Yay. Finally, I have someone with programming prowess and uh, his name is Kennedy, I believe, or still working things out. And um, one thing he's talking about is maybe moving the game to like, he apparently knows some guys and uh, he's talking about moving the game to a different software. So that way, like there'll be more flexibility. I'm not sure if like after all this time working with this program, I'm not sure if I'm willing to like just switch over. And if I do switch over, then that'll be a whole lot more time it'll take to switch all that over. So I'm hesitant, but at the same time, I see merit in what he's talking about. So um, that may or may not happen, just so you guys know. One big argument for switching over would be to improve performance, like how fast the games runs, FPS, and probably would be good with larger areas. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of the programming story that I finally come out the other end on. So yay. <laughs> um, so another snag I ran into is that I have to replace all my icons. Um, icons for those of you who aren't aware, they're those little tiny pictures that show up in menus and in battles sometimes and just overall make the game look a lot prettier in certain areas. Originally, when I first released the game, I accidentally used some copyrighted icons. So I was like, ah, no, why? But somebody redirected me to this uh, one forum where I could get icons that were completely free to use. And I'm like, great. But with the revamp, it takes place on a program that is basically scaled up from the other one. So when I scaled up the icons, the person who made the icons originally didn't like the fact that I scaled them up and she requested that I don't use her icons anymore, which is fine. I can understand why she said no. It's just, it would have been nice to have known a lot sooner. So, um, so I've been working on replacing those icons. Let's see what else is I to mention. Um, this next part is probably going to draw a few complaints, but try and hear me out until the end and then judge me and be like, boo, boo. A while back, I was planning on changing the price of the game to $8 just because of how much time and effort I put into it. And um, now I think I'm going to have to raise the price to 10 before I was talking about just releasing the revamp as a major update, but 
But now it looks like I'm going to have to release it as its own game on Steam, which I'm not too happy about either. But uh, the reason for that is, is because I've already spent over double what I made when I like released the first version of the game. And if I have any hope of making all that money back, then this is what I'm going to have to do. However, I'm not going to go back on my word. There will be a way to get the revamp for free if you've played the previous version. What I'm thinking is that anyone who has played the game and has unlocked the... I forget what it's called, but the achievement you get at the end of the Orchid Village quest. Basically, if you've played the game to that point, then you can come to me on the release date of the revamp and ask me for a Steam key, which I'll provide. I know at least one person would probably take advantage of that. When I say get on the date of the revamp, you don't actually have to request it on the date of the revamp. Like, I'm not going to have, like, some... Well, maybe I will have some set deadline, but it won't be, like, one week. It'll be, like... A month or two. I'll basically be checking to see if you played the game before the revamp so that people can't be like, oh, the revamp, I'll get it for uh, half the price if I play the old version first and then they come and request it. I'll also be giving free keys to reviewers. There's this one reviewer I checked out. His video was great. He was having so much fun on the previous version, but then it crashed and there were so many problems and I just feel so bad for that. I am so giving him a free key and anyone else who wants to review the game before release, they can get a free key as well. But despite all these technical problems I'm having and like this new person I'm hiring to get the game back on track, I'm not going to ask you guys for any money. I'm not going to be like, hey, let's start a Kickstarter because like I've heard the mighty number nine stories and I don't want to do that to people. <laughs> the game will be done when it's done. That's my mentality on the whole thing. Like I don't want to string you guys along on it'll be out in this month, it'll be out in this month. Like I honestly expected it to only take like a couple months for this revamp but it's turning out to be even more work than the original was which is saying something. <laughs> But yeah, the game will be done when it's done. But yeah, thanks for listening to this video, and um, I hope the game gets out sooner rather than later, but if it comes out later, then sorry. Um, I'll try my best. I think that's everything. Bye!